<laughs> just got some drip to it. Oh. You do. <laughs> so it reminds me of a Fox Brothers movie. <laughs> Where he keeps going. The magic drink. No, no, no. The magic drink. That there's, still a, there's still a drip. <laughs> look, look, it all went off. Oh, oh God. <laughs> So, I, I didn't hear how far you got with this, but with the, you know, the, what school is, it actually insulates itself from hot liquids and cold liquids. It can be used as, um, you know, other objects beyond the drink and be brought back for a drink. And as far as litting goes, I'm, I'm not keeping this, am I? What? When I buy my meal, am I keeping this? 100%. Yes. Okay. Made from this material? No, this is um, this this is the material that you make dummies out of. It would be transparent and much thinner. And the equivalent of just getting a drink from this is a CNC milled. Like I made a, com a quick computer model, send it to someone to make a CNC milled model out of it. So it's actually it's a made, resin. made model resin. Someone will make a custom, you know, mold for this. Anyway, but the idea being that. If you imagine being able to keep the lid size the same, and you just bring the the ounce volume up from the bottom, so you get your three different sizes, so you can keep the actual the foot, shape is always keep, the same. The shape's always the same. The footprint kind of clicks into your standard car cup Sorry. holder. You know, the dimension will always be the same. The fit our cup holder and the volume would change according to this inner piece, and it's stackable. As shown and it's much more stable here. than any of the existing um, mugs because the bottom is actually it's the inverse of all of the ones that exist at the beginning because they're all like this. Now a decision needs to be made. Uh, you know the industry right now you got a 16 ounce, 22 ounce, 32. Yeah, we'll be smaller than that. Ten smaller or maybe just have two sizes. And that's why they're moving towards. It. So it's a smaller size. Ten and twelve. You see, the thing is, the problem the, the problem is that if you don't do portion control, you end up with a problem. Let's say you decide to do natural solder, solder, and all of this is negotiable. You know, negotiable. It's not like it's then solder. This is our thinking. Is if you do a boiler natural solder, okay, it's much better for you than a coke because it's not high fructose corn syrup. It's actually sugar. Yeah. But it's still sugar, yeah. right? It's still sugar. So you know, you put give somebody sixteen ounces of of black cherry with sugar, you're still over sugaring the, you know, over sugaring them. So the idea was to come up with something that's visually impressive, right? That has a little less in it, but you can change by adding the vitamins to it, which we know works really well from Jamba Juice because the percentage of people <coughs> fortifying their drinks of Jamba Juice is over 70% now. So more than 70% of people get some kind of a supplement when they're ordering drinks. Sometimes it's a free supplement, but it's still an incentive to do the juice. So the idea, here was put something um, uh, together that's transparent, easy to make, works for hot and cold liquids, and we can differentiate the um, size just by putting a different color cap on the top or a little um, 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 marker on the side. So a little red dot and a little red cap, and it's 10 ounces, right? You know it's 10 ounces. Well, no, also, you'll be able to, to see what size it is, you know, from. You, from you, you and I will, but. A 17 year old might not True. Right. I thought maybe the, the cap of the tag could be what the drink is. The only thing I see operationally that you might want to 